Good afternoon and welcome to the eclipse. No, not the Mitsubishi eclipse, the lunar eclipse. It's the afternoon of April 8th here in Massachusetts, 2024. And we are, as we speak, experiencing a lunar eclipse. I promise not to point the camera towards the sun. Now, I was originally gonna wait till after the eclipse was over to film this uh, orphan muscle car, but I noticed that the sun, the way it's being covered by the moon, is casting just the right amount of light down here onto this car, not to cast any crazy shadows. We've got no wind today, which is rather unusual. And I thought maybe now was the best time of all to do this during this historic lunar eclipse. So you can join me on this journey as we tour this forgotten or maybe not so forgotten muscle car from 1969. This is an AMC AMX. AMC introduced the AMX for 1968 to finally compete uh, with the muscle car market that was booming in the United States at the time. They had made some attempts prior with the Rambler American Scrambler and the Rebel Machine, which were also great cars, but neither one of those cars were designed initially to be a muscle car. This AMX was, and we are lucky enough to have one here at Orphan Car Garage. It's a first for us and uh, certainly an orphan. Butternut Beige is the name of the color. By the code, that's the correct color for this car. 77A, I believe, is the paint code. And uh, this car was repainted. I'm going to guess probably in the 1980s or early 1990s. And it's held up pretty well, but it's a little tired. You'll see there in that eclipse sun that we don't get a full shine. Yeah, see that? Um, we're not getting a full shine out of the paint, but definitely very presentable. If you want to bring this car up to another, another level, you could probably do that again by painting it. The paint is rather old, but again, very, very, very presentable. Just a couple of flaws to speak of, uh, other than the obvious low gloss or lower gloss. There's a couple of dings, scratches more like it. I don't want to say dings because they're really not, but some scratches there on the body line, mostly on the passenger side. I'm going to guess from garage parking, it was probably parked next to the daily driver in the garage. It got a couple of dings. The driver's side, not so much. Overall, a very, very, very nicely presented AMX. Now you're also gonna look at this car and notice some distinguishing features on it, such as those side pipes, the Magnum 500 wheels, spoiler on the trunk, the stripes. This car appears to have a factory installed go package. The Go package was a really cool upgrade on these cars. It does have the uh, matching VIN that would signify the X there in the VIN. That would tell us that this car was factory equipped with the higher performance 390, four barrel V8, and the limited slip rear end. That would be a definite indication that this factory, this package, this Go package was factory installed. Some of the experts out there may uh, be able to tell me otherwise and you may critique the stripes or look at those side pipes and tell me those aren't correct. I am not gonna stand here and tell you guys I'm an expert on these cars. I can't possibly be an expert on every car I sell. Some of you guys have probably been researching these AMX cars for years and years and years. I can't, certainly can't compete with that. So anything that you see on this car that I need to be corrected on, feel free to do that in the comments. I'm not gonna try to pretend any anything else but this car appears appears to have been equipped with the go package from the factory a nicely sorted interior with a lot of originality door panels this carpet in the back obviously these cars are two seat uh, excuse me these are a two seat vehicle shortened wheelbase from the more familiar javelin this quarter panel over here looks like it's been recovered and it's in nice shape but the other side didn't fare so well in time. You can see that that could use to be reupholstered or replaced. The seats I'm gathering have been reupholstered. With the research that I did, these seats recline, uh, this would have been a vinyl pattern in the middle here. And this is a fabric, really nicely done, very period correct but not factory, uh, but, but, but nicely done. And most people, if you didn't know any better, probably wouldn't know. The carpet appears to be original. It just because it's got some fading, it looks like it would have been there in 1969. A nice overall dashboard, but there is a crack right here. 
aftermarket radio, unfortunately, uh, but I'm assuming if you're a purist, you could probably reinstall a factory radio. They are available online. And the shift command uh, automatic transmission console shifted is also uh, present in this vehicle. Nice, nice, very nice, clean car. You know, I think a lot of the paint in these jams is original. Clean doors. There is some very minor surface rust on the bottom of the doors. I have pictures of that on my website. It's kind of hard to show in the video. But check out the website. The only amount of rust I can find on this car is minor rust, and it's at the bottom edge of each door, a little more so on the driver's side. It's like a cigarette burn right there. Everybody smoked in the 70s. You know, some cracking of the weather stripping. It's an older restoration on a very clean, straight, solid, original car. The undercarriage is just as nice as the tops. Pictures of those that on my website. This car is extremely turnkey, fully serviced, ready to go. I wouldn't hesitate to drive this car anywhere. Nice wheels, again, part of that go package. Those five spoke Magnum 500s. This car probably would have originally been equipped with red line tires, which I'd love to see back on it. You know, the original AMC mirror, but there's some pitting. It's a very original car overall. This car was not completely restored. The little AMC emblem here. Some fading on it, but it's probably been there since 1969. Now, they built 3,650 of these cars, I believe. There's a plaque on the dashboard, which says 12002. Uh, <laughs> there's a little crack here in the speaker grill, too, while I'm at it. From every bit of research I did on that plaque, those numbers meant really absolutely nothing in production. Maybe you guys can tell me otherwise, but if they only made 3,650 of these cars, how could this be 12,002? You know what I mean? So um, I'll leave that up to you guys. But they did all have those plaques. That's not uh, an aftermarket edition. That, that is from the factory. We just have a hard time figuring out what the 12002 means. If somebody out there knows, please comment below. Uh, 85,988 miles showing on the odometer. And we have every reason to believe that is correct and original, not spun over. Nice headliner, nice visors. Again, the crack in the dash up here. And there's a couple cracks in the steering wheel. Kind of a big one right there. And then typical, as you go around, it's kind of a faux wood steering wheel. These can be restored. There's companies out there that do that, depending upon how far you want to take this car. It's got a remote mirror on the driver's door, but the knob is missing. So now it's a manual mirror. Just wanted to point that out. the remote for the stereo. This car has a very nice rumble to it, everything you'd expect uh, while I'm at it, the driver's door here. See, you can see a little bit of that running along the bottom. I have a picture of the data plate on the website. I know a lot of guys are gonna be wanting to see that. Tell me in the comments if this side pipe is correct or if it's aftermarket. Let's open the hood here for you before we call it a day. Very nice clean engine bay, that AMX 390. Power steering and power brakes, of course. Very, very clean and original appearing engine bay. No real rust in here at all. This is a nice, clean, I'm gonna go out on the limb and call it a survivor. Even though it has had some restoration work done, it doesn't appear to have ever had any real body work done to it. Nice, nice running car, nice idle. 
windshield washer box. A lot of originality here. Not something you see every day in these AMXs. Most of these cars have really been um, tailored to previous owners' tastes. This car is still very, very factory stock and just commands a presence. Um, everybody loves an AMX. You'll, you'll pull into your, the car show and in a sea of Mustangs and Camaros and Dodge Challengers, you'll be the only one with your orphan car AMC AMX and I guarantee you you're going to get more of a crowd around your car than they will. I'm going to wrap it up here. My name is John. I am Orphan Car Garage. My phone number is 508-954-8090. Our asking price on this rare orphan is $24,900. $24,900 for this rare and unique muscle car from the year 1969. Check me out on the web orphancargarage.com. Of course like me here on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, find us on Facebook and like us there. This car will be posted there as well as are all my new arrivals. We got a lot of cool stuff in the pipeline. My phone's ringing off the hook and I just can't wait to bring all these cool cars to you guys. Hang in there. Again, subscribe to us here. Follow us on Facebook. Be the first. These cars don't stick around long. We price them right. We are the purveyors of affordable classic cars. Thank you.